What are you doing? Shh. I just asked. I'm trying to use the force. The force. You realize it's 10 feet away. Shh. Your chair has wheels. Shh. <sighs> Whoa. I'm a freaking Jedi. Like any self-respecting geek, I am a huge fan of Star Wars. And just like any self-respecting fan of Star Wars, I spent the majority of my childhood imagining what it would be like to use the Force. Thankfully, with DaVinci Resolve, some sound effects, and some creative cutting, pulling off a Force pull effect is actually really simple. But before we dive into DaVinci Resolve, let's talk about the footage that you'll need in order to pull this off. To create this effect, I filmed a shot of myself trying to use the Force, a shot of myself holding the water bottle and reacting to the impact of it hitting my hand, a shot of the bottle on the TV stand, and a shot of the TV stand without the bottle on it. That shot's known as a clean plate. The shot of the bottle on the TV stand and the clean plate were actually shot together in one consistent piece of footage on a tripod. That way I didn't have to worry about moving the camera accidentally and I could save myself the trouble of having to match it up in post. Once I brought in the footage and cut my timeline together, it was time to create the effect. The first step of which was to remove the background from the shot of the bottle on the TV stand. Now you could use object mask to do this or you could rotate scope the bottle in the fusion page, but since this was a locked off shot that we would be moving manually, the easiest way to do this is to turn that shot into a photo. Step one was to head to the color page, select the clip of the bottle on the TV stand, grab a still, and export that still as a TIFF. The next step was to use photo editing software to remove the background of the photo. Now I used Photoshop to do this, but any photography software with compositing capabilities can do this as well. Even Canva has a background removal tool that works pretty well. Once I had my still in Photoshop, I used the quick selection tool to create a mask around the bottle and deleted the background. In this case, the mask didn't have to be perfect because the clip I need it for is only six seconds long and there's going to be a lot of motion blur. Then we'll delete the background layer and export our image as a PNG file to retain that transparent background. After that, we can bring our PNG back into Resolve and start our compositing. But before we do that, let me know in the comments if there is an effect from a movie or a TV show that you'd like to see me recreate on this channel. And on the way down there, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay, back to Resolve. The first step is to replace the six frame clip of the bottle on the TV stand in our timeline with our PNG of the bottle and create a fusion clip out of that PNG and our clean plate. Then we'll head to the fusion page. In the fusion page, we'll add a transform node to our bottle node. And then in the inspector, we'll keyframe the rotation and angle to make the bottle look like it's flying off the left side of the screen. Then we'll head to settings, turn on motion blur and set the quality to 10. After that, it's time to go back to the edit page, refine the cuts so the pacing feels right, add some sound effects and we get this. What really sells this effect are the motion blur and the sound design. If you want to know four other tips that I use to make my VFX shots look more realistic, check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.